Hello and welcome everyone to this final game of Zotax number 281. I do apologize for the immense delay, but unfortunately, due to time constraints and, you know, school in general, I will probably not be uploading, at least Warcraft at least, uh, any games on my channel for quite some time. Until probably next week. So, yeah, I do apologize. Either way, uh, we have an interesting turn of events, seeing as Seshi is currently in the lead 2-0 in this best of 5, so in a desperation act, Hate Love Anger, who is currently down, is going to be playing an off race, the Orc player. Now as you uh, probably don't remember, in the chat, I believe the previous game, uh, some people were actually discussing if HLA was actually playing off race with a Night Elf. Uh, with the Night Elf race in the previous Zotax and I'm not aware of that but it's I mean observers probably know more than me and if that's the case then well obviously HLA has experience with other races besides Undead so yeah surprisingly enough I you know wanted an orc player for the finals and apparently it's just gonna be an off race so yeah <clears throat> let's just introduce the players then in the bottom right we have Hate Love Anger who's going to be spawning as the yellow orc player and is also going for a Farseer. In the top left we have Pisa Seshi who's going to be spawning as the light blue undead player and he is... okay just started his death knight. Okay Tom of Relics after the graveyard so we're just going to go for that slow start with a slow technology start but very quick for quick beans. And I don't believe a ton Ooh, never mind. I was actually not saying anything. However, the far sale was much more earlier than that death knight, as you can see. So either HLA will go for an early harassment, or maybe he'll just take this to his advantage and creep out very early. Looks like he's gonna cho uh, choose the creeping path, and he's gonna go for this null creep camp right here. 5-3-3, most likely we'll get that far here at level 2. HLA, what is he actually going to go for? He's making more grunts. Not enough gold for a upgrade, but we shall see whether or not he will go for that. Actually, wait. Ooh, I was actually thinking that this camp might have actually given, uh, given Farseer a level 2, but apparently that's not the case. It's probably just gonna be like way, way short, but I'm not sure. A player's level five are under uh, attack. creep usually very weird. Yeah, he's just a little bit shy. Either way, creep beans are obviously gonna be spotted, as this is pretty much the same opening as it was for Sushi in the second game. Um, and HLA will not be able to do any sort of creep jack. But he was able to pick off a skeleton and give himself level 2 on that of Farseer. Most likely, Chain Lightning has been trained. There we go right there, killing off that Crypt Fiend. Unfortunately, DK was not able to react as quickly as I would have thought. Holds of the Dead and the Stronghold is being upgraded. So, yeah, both players are just going to go for tier 2. DK is still roaming around. He does have a skeleton trying to deal damage in the uh, main base of HLA but that will most likely be brushed off. Even more crit beans are being pumped out. Farseer, even though it doesn't look like it, he does quite a bit of damage, you know, with his basic players attacks. Forces are under attack. Yep, there we go, skeleton's finally unsummoned itself. Yeah, that's pretty much all the action's gonna be. Um, honestly, yeah, HLA really needs to go back to creeping. Um, I've, I didn't see which item he picked up from that Null Overseer, so... I don't think he even picked it up in the item as he just sent his Farseer away. And yeah, by the way, it looks like Sishi's going to interrupt this creeping. Death Knight is about half health, needs to be careful. 
40% health now, are under and attack. the grunts are slowly, slowly dying, most like a death core right there, killing off that single grunt, and looks like these wolves will be resummoned. And there's the item, Ring of Protection plus two, will not even be bothered, finally. Even though it's pretty much a worthless item, it's still a couple of, you know, gold. And the DK will be cleaning up that camp and picking himself a close attack plus six. A player's we are going straight are to... Attack. Actually, hold it hasn't even finished. Okay, it looks like these skeletons are going to move on in again. Stronghold has finished. We are going to see a Terran Chieftain, so... HLA tending more towards the chain like uh, chain wave strategy instead of uh, you know this the shadow hunter I guess alternative we have the lich coming out Sishi is not gonna go straight to tier 3 as he knows it's kind of dangerous to go that route as well tier 2 is usually when H uh, orc players tend to get a little bit more aggressive with you know those bestiaries and sparrow lodge raiders Spur walkers and all that good stuff. Of course, it doesn't mean HLA wasn't really aggressive in the first few minutes with that Farseer, but oh well. Do have sentry wards being placed down from Seshi, who will be able to spot quite a bit in the map. As you can see, uh, this wide area is being covered Summoning very nicely. A player's forces are under attack. Red Creep Camp actually going to be cleared out by HLA, and let's see which item we will be able to pick up. Wonderful Wind, but I'm not sure if it's going to be worthwhile, as it looks like uh, HLA will be s taken out of position. However, that will um, be alright as he does. He uses the Speed Scroll to run away. Death Knight is going to face himself some problems. However, Frost Armor from that Lich really dealing quite a bit against that uh, Orc army. A player's forces are Trollhead under Hunters, attack. Raiders are also joining into the mix. Dire Wolves for HLA. Uh, basically, critical chance or critical strike for those wolves. Okay, looks like we're going to engage. Uh, Lich is still at level 1, but he does have a plus 6 clause. Uh, there we go with that ensnare. One of the wind is going to be used on that Lich. A grunt is going to be taken down. Crypt Fiend is going to burrow himself. However, he will be dead cold. And there we go with the War Stomp. So instead, we're not actually having Shockwave. More wolves are coming out of the... Or being summoned. But... These Crypt Fiends and these ghouls are slowly slaughtering the Orc army. Troll Headhunter is not really the best against this kind of army composition. And will be taken down very, very soon. Yep. Oh, even a Kota Beast might be caught out of position. Yes, he's going to be caught out of position as he's going to be semi surrounded thanks to the or the ingenuity of the Death Knight. That was a very quick match, wasn't it? Unfortunately, that's pretty much going to be all my videos for a while. There will be some exceptions for like Guild Wars or Star Wars videos, but most likely not a Warcraft video, so I won't be casting numbers 283 anytime soon. I'll just wait for 284. I mean, why not? Anyway, I hope you guys enjoy, and I'll see you guys next time. See ya.